Hello everyone, how's it going? Back here on video. Today I want to talk about another book that I've read recently. So I do all types of stuff on this channel, as you guys know. I do crypto and finance and all that stuff too, but just general, you know, what am I doing, what am I reading, well-being and stuff. And it's important to read in your everyday life, so this is something I have been reading as of late and finished. A little History of the World by E.H. Gombrich. Uh, he is Austrian, I believe. Yes, Austrian. He was born in 1909, died in 2001. So you can see he lived in a very, very turbulent time. And he's a very famous art historian, more specifically. He wrote The Story of Art, so another famous book by him. I might give it a, a try. Uh, but I read The Little History of the World because it's been a while since I've taken a history class, and even though I do consider myself a little bit more knowledgeable in history than, you know, your average uh, American. I guess that's not that I'm saying that much, but, you know, I, I know history. I, I wanted a refresher and an easy read. So this is meant for children. I think it was originally written in German and it wasn't translated actually until towards the end of his life. Even though he wrote most of his works in English, this one just happened to be in German. So it is a little bit Eurocentric and very like focused on that part of history. But overall, it is a good refresher on history as a whole. And in order to be concise as it was, he probably needed to limit it to that. So it starts from the very beginning of our his story or our story history and it works it all the way up to you know about modern times or when it was written around then so i liked it overall it was written it was, it's an easy read if you're looking just to like a like a refresh like i said because written for children so it's something easy to pick up he puts things in an interesting way. It flows together really nice. My only thing is, it's like I said, it's a little bit Eurocentric. It's focused on European history, especially as you move from away from the beginning of history and, and into like Middle Ages and things like that. It's very focused on uh, Europe. Even though there was a lot of development in other parts of the world, he, he does like mention them, but he doesn't exactly go into detail at how maybe you know the Arabs actually had some very advanced um, and preserved a lot of knowledge there or maybe in China. He does mention these things, but doesn't go into great detail, and that's also an important part of history. So just something to keep in mind if you're hoping to expand a little bit more, because personally I have learned a decent amount of European history, and I was hoping to actually get a little bit snippets, maybe learn about, a little more about, even though I do know about all of them in general, but maybe learn a little bit more about you know, Chinese civilization and refresher there, because that one always confused me with all the dynasties. Uh, I was hoping something over there, but not a bad read. I'm still happy I read it. I might look for another history refresher that focuses on a different part of the world. And um, yeah, it's always important to keep everything in mind, you know, and no history. You, there's a lot of things and dumb things, and you can see cycles, the, the massive cycles that go through history of, oh, let's focus on knowledge, and then you can see like just gradual decline, and things decline slowly, guys, and you don't even realize it, and all of a sudden, you know, 100 years later, it's like you're in a, a different period of time where the knowledge is hidden or you cannot express yourself anymore and it's interesting seeing how those things have cycled throughout history and to be kind of aware and kind of think about where we are in that cycle of broad perspective so i hope you enjoyed that short little review have a great day y'all i'll be making more videos I'm trying to make a video a week at least on the main channel and don't forget i also have my gaming channel shoops gaming and i just uploaded an interesting video there um, comparing the steam market to the steam or the splinterlands marketplace Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.